22.8 degrees, 22.8. And the starting mileage is uh, 42814, 42814. Hey YouTube, it's Gentleman's Nine. Just doing another ride. It's the weekend here, finally. Yeah, that was slick. It's colder this morning than I thought it would be. Just a quick update on my uh, anti-gravity battery. This thing doesn't like the cold. I think that's pretty clear. And if you... If you do turn on the lights for two to three minutes and then start, it does start a little bit better, but it definitely doesn't... It, it definitely doesn't start with vigor. And it's more along the lines of my stock battery, the lead acid one. However, if the bike is even remotely close to warm, or I'm sorry, the battery is even remotely close to like warm, it does, uh, it does crank pretty fast. Alright, so besides the battery, I really don't have much of a topic. So, what I'll say is, I've been watching all these different short series, series, Siri, Siri, multiple series, 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 whatever, on Netflix. One of them happens to be, uh, what's sort it, of, Behind Mansion Wells, and it talks about uh, basically rich people who commit murder because of greed or whatever. And I'd just like to say it's pretty messed up. I mean, so yes, I can understand greed to an extent, but is it worth killing somebody for? Well, here, let me give you an example. <coughs> uh, apparently in California, there's this rich family, uh, a husband, wife, and two kids. And um, I think the husband the husband sold airplanes, so he, he made a pretty good living, he made, pretty, made really good money. And uh, his, his son wanted to flaunt the money. Basically, he dressed up in really fancy clothes, actually wore his dad's clothes, wore his dad's watches and whatnot. Basically, he wanted to be his dad, make money. Um, but the long story, is, or the short story of that is, ultimately, <coughs> he... He hired somebody to actually kill his parents and his sister so that he would inherit everything. And I, I don't remember how much it was, like 25 million or something is what the family was worth. But seriously, so he hired somebody, killed his family, and now he is not rich. He's in jail. It, it, it is not worth it. I don't. 25 million, I and mean, he was already getting money, like an allowance from his family, so why, why can't you just be happy with what you get? Hey, hold on, I'm going to crack my windshield here. Uh, let's see here. Hold on. So why can't you be happy with what you get? I, I, I don't get it. So along those lines, um, I've been emailing back and forth with Kayuka Ryder. He's a pretty cool guy. Uh, I don't know if he's, I don't know if he'll be posting any videos anytime soon, but uh, you should subscribe to him, just in case. But uh, anyways, uh, one of the things was uh, he had mentioned, you know, we people work. People work for money to pay the bills and whatnot. Well, you can tell around like the Chicago area, people work for money so they can buy the toys and basically like gloat to all their friends, like, "Hey, man, I got this boat, or I got, I got this RV, or I got this swimming pool, or I got this, or I got that." And I don't. So it's really horrible, is like, to an extent. So that's basically like keeping up with the Joneses. To an extent, uh, I guess we sort of did that. Uh, you know, we have a bigger house, a house that's bigger than we we really need. But at the time, we wanted we were thinking about having kids, 
So let's get a big house, let's get a nice house, all this other stuff. Well, we don't have kids. And now we just have this big house. Of course, it won't really sell because the market is not very good. But um, slowly come to realize that, you know, like, wait a second. All this stuff ain't worth it. Because, uh, don't get me wrong, you know, a nice big house, it's nice. But in reality, I don't really want to be cooped up in the house. I don't really want to be awesome driving my Cadillac back and forth to work. Which, by the way, I don't have a Cadillac. But I mean, all that stuff, I would rather spend the money or save the money to retire early or spend it to go on vacations or something, you know, something that I can't normally experience. Because I spent most of it working. So I kind of think back to like uh, growing up, most of my relatives, my uncles, uh, were farmers or something along those lines. And they live life simple. They don't need stuff and yet they're, they're so happy with the way things are. And, you know, and we're like in the big city and myself and people I know, we're all not happy because we need more stuff. But man, it took us a while to figure it out that you know, stuff ain't important. I kind of wish I had that kind of thinking a couple years ago, but anyways, stuff sucks. That's the moral of the story. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to hit the super slab. We are going to go I-94 northbound towards Milwaukee because I'm heading north because I want colder. Holy crap. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I ain't paying attention. Alright. I am hitting the super slab. Uh, 94 northbound. I can head towards Milwaukee where in theory it's colder because because that's just the way I am. I don't want these warm temperatures. Give me the cold, goddammit. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Ending mileage 43117, 43117.